John was like, you can't cover something. But I said, it's not covering it. It's working out what they've done and just switch it a bit. So should I be telling people this? This episode is being supported by Tape It. If you currently use voice notes to record your ideas, you should try Tape It instead. So proud, so proud of that song, man. We yeah, fucking, that's, that's a belt to that, I have to say. It's What's great. A tune? Ain't no one writing songs like Ain't that. Ain't no one. No one. <laughs> I love the way that you're both singing along to the songs as we're playing them. It's, it's nice to exciting. hear it like uh, through these, are, presumably these are highly expensive headphones, right? Yeah. It's nice to hear it like that. It's just my little Bluetooth speaker in the garden. It like <laughs> makes all the difference. Right? You can hear everything as well. Yeah. So yeah. much to see. All the detail. It's great. So, Merry Old England, where did this start? I can tell you exactly where it started. It started in that um, that strange Neverworld space of like empty Chris packets and orange pills and God knows what. Um, we don't have to go into detail. That, that becomes the communal room at the back of a tour bus after like 12 weeks of a European tour. Um, so I think I'm right in saying we were between well, just some like uh, those endless autobahns, those huge man made forests, which the Germans do so well. Um, Going between Cologne and Leipzig, maybe, probably not. But Pastor's acoustic guitar, because I know, because I've got this somewhere on um, this one on John's phone, John's uh, iVoice recorder. And I think for about three hours, as the sun was coming up, I was just playing. I, remember, I, was, I, remember, I was playing the same three chords again and again. I was just retiring. You and John just got up. I everyone, remember. Yeah, and everyone was there in the back, and because um, of course it was a joint effort. I was just going. For ages, I was just going. I know, 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 because it was John's face. He was like, I should go to bed. And I was going, I know, 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 I know. And then it turned into sort of little, even though it was only acoustic bass, it wasn't plugged in. He got this mad groove going as well. And then I was sort of doing some Pigman special picking and whatnot. So we just had these three chords going round and round, not really any words. And then um, someone decided that, if we are going to do this, this repetitive, I know, I know, I know, for three verses, it needs a massive, big... Biggest chorus in the world. F off chorus. So we thought, right, we went onto YouTube, right, and looked at which songs had the most views, <laughs> and then we thought we'd just nick the chords from that chorus, and it was um, it was a Simply Red song, actually. It goes, um, I want to fall yeah, yeah, into yeah. your arms. John was like, you can't cover something. But I said, it's not covering it. It's working out what they've done and just switch it a bit. So should I be telling people this? No, I think you're right with that, though, because it's so different. <laughs> so it's turned into... Um, the chalk cliffs once wide Decaying in the sodium light oh, well, It didn't become that until much later when we went well, anyway, to that's a rough oh. idea of how it was born. Yeah. Um, but didn't at that point it didn't have that strong lyrical theme it's got now. Obviously, it's, it's clearly about um, about you know this so-called immigration crisis. Oh, yeah, I mean, that's so, the, I mean that, that, it was a perfect bed, wasn't it? So it was created organically, and then yeah, with, and then to be germinated with the fan seeds of what came later. Yeah, but that was <laughs> and how, did that you was, record that, that, that on the bus that, that time? Uh, or you we, recording yeah, that, or? A version that you, that you would be unrecognisable, right? And you probably can't even hear it over the traffic, but and, enough to remember it. Oh no, completely! Yeah. It's one you of them. Wouldn't hear simply read it. That's for no. sure. <laughs> no. so, uh, yeah, because I was quite, I was quite keen on having sort of in my sort of Smiths, Beatles obsession. I, I sort of wanted songs that were just strong on guitar. I didn't really envision this being anything else. Um, I didn't want to do it acoustic. I wanted it to be electric. But straight away, your man Dimitri was like, "Okay, well, let's think about this." And then he started putting, playing around with the piano, and then uh, hearing it there actually, it's a lot. <laughs> Less, I hate using this word, but it's a lot less rock and roll than yeah. than I, I thought it was. Actually, it's a lot slower than I thought it was, and the piano is just beautiful. But I really had to surrender that. So I was like, I don't want, I don't want piano on this song. And he sort of had to take me aside and said, Well, we'll just try it. Huh? Like, yeah, that's that's, yeah. A, that's a good producer who can do that, you know. Yeah, it's uh, gorgeous at the intro as well. Yeah. It's very atmospheric. It's actually one of my favourite moments on the whole album. That's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. 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 And there was a Doors vibe yeah, going yeah, on. Riders on the Storm, which is, I'm a lifelong massive Doors fan. And uh, so, I don't know, if ever, if ever Dimitri is losing my attention, he just goes, this is a bit like the Doors. And look, <laughs> and I'll be back. Like, oh, <laughs> great. <laughs> well, maybe maybe we should hear Dimitri's piano on its own. Let's hear Dimitri's piano. I was hoping people would think that was me, but no, it's Dimitri. <laughs> <laughs> In my mind, it's you, Carl. The piano's yours. Oh, yeah, there you go. 
If you, like so many of our guests, use voice notes to capture your ideas, you will love Tape It. It's the iPhone recording app designed specifically for musicians and songwriters. With Tape It, you can record straight from your lock screen, set markers, add notes, and even include photos of settings. Plus, there's Cloud Sync, you can import your old voice notes, and to stay on top of it all, Tape It has great labeling features like automatic instrument detection. And all of the above is free. If you currently use voice notes, switching to Tape It is a no-brainer. And there's more. If you upgrade to Tape It Pro, it uses two microphones on your iPhone, along with gentler dynamic compression to give a much more natural sound than any of the usual apps. And we have a huge offer for you. 50% off Tape It Pro if you upgrade now. Just go to the app and use the promo code Take Notes, or click the link in the description below. Put the roads in as well. Yeah. And the roads too. He wasn't playing them at the same time, was he? Yeah, he wanted to. Yeah. <laughs> one, one foot up like that. Is <laughs> Yeah, no, it's, I've always wanted to do songs like that. Just Mick Jones used to do it, just play, picking out the same few beautiful notes. You know what I mean? Yeah. For three minutes, gorgeous. Oh. oh my, 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 my. Fingers are staying alive. Oh, they don't catch you tonight. The illegals have landed in Dolby Square Did they give you everything that you dreamed of? A and b and vouchers for me square is And it, is that that piano behind you? I think that's that the one that... the Rose, wasn't it? No, what, was it a Wiley, Jason? Uh, it's this. Oh, no. Yeah, no, oh, eventually... Oh, no, no, we, did, we did use that one. Yeah, we did. Eventually, he put something else on it, but all, all the, like, no, this got Baron's floor... <coughs> this piano's yeah. got an amazing sound to it. It's got a real sort of soft airiness. It's by... An English company, Hopkinson's from London, from the like, 1930s, and uh, it's, I've never seen another one like it. But it's it's, it's got it's, it's really unique. Yeah. So if anyone wants to come to the Albion Rooms and use it, <laughs> just a quick heads up: the guy the guy that comes from Canterbury to tune it, uh, he said uh, the whole piano is completely original. It's around about 100 years old, except for one string, even the hammers. That's why it sounds so mellow and dark. Really gorgeous. Yeah, there you go. Good. That's great. There's bar, bar one, one single string. string in there. Yeah, amazing. Exchange is 76, but apart from that, everything's original pre-war. <laughs>